Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So if you've been following along on my live streams lately, you'll notice that I have been making a few circuit boards for this little module, which I'm calling the HCC module or HCC mod for short. It's actually really cool. It's going to be my next Kickstarter and I think it's going to help a lot of people out. Let me build one and I'll show you what it's for. Okay, so I actually built 10 of these. And what they are is a SAMD21 G18 microcontroller. And it's basically the microcontroller that I use in most of my projects. And that is the reason, well, the initial reason why I decided to make this. So every time I start a new project, I'm gonna be putting this microcontroller on it and some other components like a voltage regulator, reset button, things like that every single time and that takes up time in the project making process that doesn't really need to be there. I can eliminate that. So if I have these pre-made then I can create a footprint that I can put on the PCB for my next project that I'm doing. And I actually have a couple of here. These are the ones I did live streaming. And this one is a simple Arduino style layout and this took me like 30 minutes to make and by having this already assembled with a bootloader on it everything ready to go I can solder this on and then we have an Arduino it's that quick so let's do that right now and I'll show you how easy it is I'm going to assemble this right now as I'm talking to you and I want to explain the reason why I think this will be so valuable for people who are learning electronics and building their own circuit boards. I think of it more as like a stepping stone from going something like this, all flywire together in a project, maybe soldered together using a dev board, to something like this robotics thing that has a microcontroller and all this stuff on it, but on the board. Because some people don't want to make the jump to trying to place these difficult tiny components on a custom board that they want to implement into some type of system. So by having this, with the bootloader ready to go on it, which means you can just add a USB connection and it will be recognized by the computer. You can put your Arduino code on it. And then you can make custom little platforms like this gaming controller, which I'll show you in a future video, or this button pad that will act like a macro keyboard. But what's amazing is that you can order circuit boards for so cheap now that there's no reason not to learn how to do it and I think this will encourage people to to try and build their own and I've made it so that it's relatively easy to solder so we're gonna do that now and of course there's a hundred ways you could solder this I'll just do it by hand in case you don't have a soldering oven so you get one pin centered that's how I like to do it anyways make sure they're all lined up and do the opposite side. So now it's on there. I just need to solder all the other pins. And I've made the pin spacing in such a way that it should be really easy for anyone to solder. And the top piece here is the USB connection. So if you're making your own board you have to add your own USB or you could wire it directly to a USB wire. But I think the benefit here is that you're actually able to put this in a custom setting. So you want to have a custom design for your circuit board or for your housing or whatever your application is. Now of course you don't need to use a tiny USB connection like this. You could use something bigger uh, like the type A. But again you can do whatever you want with this module because it will just work in any application. 
And the reason why I'm so excited is it's going to help by allowing me to do projects way faster and save a lot of time. That's what I'm excited for. Okay, it's on and we'll throw the headers on just so it's just like a normal Arduino. Just solder the rest of these. And there we have, in no time at all, our own custom design Arduino board using the SAMD G21. So we'll plug this in, we'll program it to do something, and that's it. I put a little LED in here, my controller's got the bootloader on it, everything. Let's write a really quick Arduino code program thing, and we'll see if it works. Just setting the LED pin to an output and turning on the serial and then we will visual write 13 on write a simple hello world plug it in Right, got a COM port there, and program. All right, we have a blinking LED, and we have a hello world. So, we just made an Arduino board in 10 minutes, maybe less. So hopefully the HCC module will inspire you to learn how to do your own PCB design. It's really quite simple, and because it should be easier to solder now, you can put through coal components on with your microcontroller. You can do all that stuff. You can make a custom shape and design so it fits in whatever project you're doing or robotics thing or, or whatever, really, so you won't have wires all over the place. It'll be a nice, clean project. So as usual, this project is open source, so if you don't want to wait for the Kickstarter, you can, of course, download the files and order the boards and assemble your own little HCC module yourself but if you want to wait for the kickstarter and i suggest you do because they'll be fully assembled with a bootloader and everything then you can do that just a few days away i can't wait to see what everyone comes up with and i'm really excited for it and i can't wait to just have a ton of these myself so that i can make my own projects much faster and better so yeah everyone i hope you're as excited as i am leave a comment below hit that like button subscribe whatever. Anyways, everyone, be good and have a good day.